So it looks like my efforts to keep my feet dry are over. This is my first little waiting, so here we go. Oh, this is deeper than I thought. Little Death Hollow. I have been dreaming about this hike ever since my friend Nick told me about it many years ago. And uh, it's a canyon loop with a slot and apparently a really cool campsite. I've never done canyon hiking like this before, so it's gonna be really new and exciting for me. So this is the very beginning. So just packed up the van, got everything secure, and I'll show you around the start. So this big old wide canyon is going to narrow up to a slot. Starting off on a nice footpath. So I'm looking for a Wingate sandstone boulder with petroglyphs. So hopefully I find it. Pretty so far. Can't wait to see more. Alright, so let's see if this is the big boulder they're talking about with petroglyphs on it. Okay, this looks promising. Don't see anything on this side. Either I can't see them, or they're not. This is the wrong boulder. All right, we're gonna see if this boulder has the petroglyphs we're looking for. It's a pretty good sized boulder. Oh, there they are. There they are, how cool is that? Wow. There they are. All right, having a good time already. Although it's hot, it's probably at least 90 degrees, so I'm um, ready to get in that narrow part of the canyon where it's going to cool off, get some shade. One more look at these awesome, awesome petroglyphs. Canyon's starting to narrow a little bit, just a little. Ah, so I'm getting hungry. We're having bean burritos and an avocado for lunch. So as soon as I find some cliffside shade, that's where I'm going to be at cooking some delicious lunch. Okay, for lunch we're having some dehydrated refined beans, corn tortillas, and as promised an avocado. Put some hot water over the beans, let them soak for about five minutes. Want 
of this avocado. Mmm. That's the first thing I eat. Um, avocados are going to get beat up after a while. Plus it's super ripe. Mmm. Oh, that was a satisfying lunch. I uh, really, really was hungry. I'm still hungry, but gotta ration my food out. So the canyon's really starting to narrow up. Looks like there's some moisture in the creek bed tells me there's definitely going to be moisture and wetness in the slot so we will see so out of my adventure so far this has been by far the most wild place that I have experienced I just feel like I'm really really out there in a very very remote place wow oh my goodness breathtaking How neat is that? So freaking cool. Unbelievable. I feel so lucky right now to be able to do this. I am just absolutely thrilled. You know, this adventure has been amazing for the past Six weeks I've been on the road, haven't been working, and it just doesn't seem to quite set in. It just seems unreal. Like, all the places I've been, all the amazing things that I've seen, and really it's just getting started. So, it's kind of unbelievable. It's still sinking in what I'm doing in my new life. Uh, I'm not complaining, <laughs> don't get me wrong, but uh, it, it's really just unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm I'm a lucky guy. Wow. Whoa. Oh look there's this cave over here. I almost want to climb up in there and lay down for a little bit. Starting to get narrower. That's pretty narrow. That's the narrowest it's been so far. All right, this is looking like a slot canyon to me. Apparently it gets narrower. Feels nice and cool in here. Getting a little breeze through the slot. It's definitely the tightest it's gotten so far. Ooh, that's really tight. I might have to take off my pack. So far, so good. So far so good with the water. I think that may have been a spring or a seat back there that was causing that riverbed to be wet. 
Because there's certainly no moisture in here. Oh, a tiny bit. Just a little bit. So it looks like my efforts to keep my feet dry are over. My first little waiting, so here we go. So I had to take a break from recording. Uh, things got a little intense here in the slot. I uh, had several waist deep wades I had to go through and some choke points that uh, were a little slippery and a little tricky, but um, so far so good. This is really thrilling. This is definitely an adventurous hike and uh, unlike anything I've ever done before. Now I want to find that exit that Nick was talking about. I checked out one earlier, but it uh, didn't seem passable. So we're going to continue down. He said it was somewhere out of the slot. Wow, so cool. I wonder if this is the scramble Nick was talking about. Sure could be. I'm going to go check it out. So I'm pretty sure the this little um, crack right here is the, the way to that campsite that Nick was talking about. I was able to scramble up there easily. I could get my pack up there and there was some really cool level spots um, for me to camp. Uh, the problem is it's only 3.45 in the afternoon and I am not ready to stop hiking. So I'll continue to explore. Maybe there's some other spots or maybe this isn't the spot that Nick was talking about, but it's just too early in the day. And truthfully, I got my adrenaline all pumping from the slot canyon. It's, it's wild. It's wild. Like just the wading up to your waist and the tight, narrow spaces and just all the different scenery. It, it is absolutely wild. So I'm having a blast. So I'm going to keep hiking. Looks like we have ourselves a choke point. I'm sure it can't be too bad to get through. I've just never experienced anything like this before. I will say it's about 90 degrees today and these little pool crossings are wonderful. I was just afraid that they might be too deep. Um, I have a waterproof liner for my pack for all my stuff inside and I couldn't find it. so. I really don't want to get any deeper than waist deep because that means my pack is going to get wet. I think 
the stuff would stay dry as long as it wasn't submerged too long, but you just don't want to risk that. I got my sleeping bag in there, my clothes, my food. No need to get that wet.